Matt Cucker told to keep your money by Mexican caddy he offered measly $20,000 payment to. Matt Cucker has been told to keep your money by a local caddy who helped him win $1.3 million at a tournament in Mexico, only to be offered just $20,000 as a reward. It is alleged that Cucker originally paid David Guirel Ortiz a measly $5,000 after winning the Mayakoba Golf Classic last November. That was the ninth PGA Tour win of his career, during which he has played in four Ryder Cups and won over $46 million in prize money. It led to accusations that Cucker had shortchanged his caddy. It is standard for caddies on the PGA Tour to earn 5% of their players' winnings for the week with that percentage increasing for a top 10 finish, up to 10% for a victory. That would have seen Ortiz earn $130,000 at Mayakoba. Former PGA Tour player Tom Gillis was critical of Cucker on Twitter back in January. If Cucker wins this weekend, at the Sony Open, let's hope he pays his man more than $3,000, like the last win. $45 million, in, career, earnings could have changed the man's life. Gillis has since deleted the tweet and changed the amount he says Cucker paid to $5,000. Ortiz, 40 is a Mexican caddy known as El Tucan, the Tucan, and is local to the luxury Mayacoba Resort, near Cancun. He lives in a small house and had hoped to use his prize money to start a laundret with his wife, according to Golf.com, who also report that he has spent his payments on painting his house new curtains, a mirror and flying his daughter home for Christmas. He landed the job as Cucker's caddy for the week after John Wood, the player's regular bag man, opted not to make the trip. A stand-in caddy is not usually paid the same amount as a regular caddy, and Ortiz has claimed that Cucker promised him a flat fee of $3,000, plus an unspecified winnings bonus. After his victory, Ortiz claims that Cucker handed him an envelope with $5,000 in cash, made up of $100, $50, $10 and $5 bills. The payment became the subject of fierce debate after Gillis's critical tweet, with many people calling for Ortiz to be given more money. Cucker, 40, said of Ortiz after winning in Hawaii, He was definitely my lucky charm. He brought me good luck and certainly some extra crowd support and did a great job as well. He did just what I was hoping for and looking for. Then, in January, Cucker dismissed questions about what he had paid Ortiz. That's not a story. It wasn't 10%. It wasn't $3,000, he said. Ortiz has now claimed, in an interview with Golf.com that he has been offered an extra $15,000 payment by Cucker but has rejected the money because he found it unacceptable. Matt is a good person and a great player. He treated me very well. I am only disappointed by how it all finished, he is quoted as saying. On the offer of the extra $15,000 Ortiz said, no thank you. They can keep their money. Ortiz also claims to have written an email to Cucker's agent, Mark Steinberg in January asking for a fair payment for his work and complaining that he was taken advantage of. He claims he used Google Translate to turn his Spanish words into English. The email allegedly read, I am a humble man, who takes care of his family, and works hard. I am reaching out to you to see if you can facilitate me receiving a fair amount for my help with Matt winning $1,296,000. I am not looking to disparage Matt or give him a bad name. Fair is fair, and I feel like I was taken advantage of by placing my trust in Matt. Cucker's agent, Mark Steinberg, told Golf.com, the reports on what Matt's caddy was offered are wildly inaccurate. However, it is inappropriate to discuss those amounts publicly. Asked recently if he would want to caddy for Cucker again, Ortiz said, no thank you. I'm a little bit p-ed, a little bit confused.